you know, the new book. This, this was going to be a big year for the Go-Go's as well, but talk about this book. Congratulations on this. What's it like having this come out? First of all, in the middle of all this, it's a little different for, for somebody to have a book released in the midst of this. Yeah. I mean, I'm a first time author and I did the best I could and I'm really proud of this book. I spent several years on it and it came out. It's not often that you can say I did the best I could and I'm really proud of it. So I was so excited to get out on the road and set up an amazing book tour, 23 cities, probably the most extensive thing I've ever done for myself. Yeah. And, you know, and then it's gone. But I just can't like feel too badly because I mean, people are losing their livelihoods and their lives and their loved ones and their health and their businesses. And, you know, I, I can find ways around it. It's, it's definitely not the same, but you know, it's a book and I can talk to you. I can talk to anybody that's interested and hopefully, yeah, yeah. hopefully after when, when we can travel more and it's a little more safe, maybe I'll still be able to kind of, Keep it going. Keep the momentum. For sure. Yeah. Well, it's so well done. You have to be proud of this book. And you, you, I can tell you put your heart and soul into this. And what was it like sharing all this, putting this on the page? How much of this was for you? How much of this was for GoGo's fans like myself? Talk about the impetus for, for making this happen. It was really for me. I wanted to write. I wanted to be an author. I wanted to write books. Um, I had been taking college classes, turning in good essays and research papers. And... Um, writing short stories for creative writing classes. So I, I felt like I had it in me to say, but I started thinking for my first book, a memoir is so good because it's the story that only I can tell, you know? And um, I, I felt like I had a story to tell. I had read some great memoirs, everyone from Mary Carr to uh, Educated to Wild to music memoirs. And I thought, I've got a story I want to tell too. So. Um, it was it was uh, it was a big commitment though, and really, really, I'm not gonna. I mean, really, the discipline was not something. I'm used to discipline, like get a song finished, you know, not right. get an entire 300 page book done. Yeah, and there's so much honesty in this book, and so much tough stuff. People have heard some of the stuff the band's gone through, and kind of the lows, the highs and the lows of the band. A lot of personal stuff in this book as well. What's it like having that now, out there for? The world to read what does that what does that feel like for you internally it's a little uh uncomfortable to be honest because when i was writing it i was really in the moment of it and my biggest concern was getting what it felt like on the page i wanted my experience to get on the page so that the reader would have a connection with me and not only understand how i felt but relate it to themselves and like oh i understand what she felt like i i felt like that too in a different situation so i was really consumed with that i was consumed with it being well done well written have some literary value and deadline those were the things as a writer mm -hmm. i didn't think a lot about what it would feel like to actually like have all the little to me the salacious bits were just things that happened that I kind of moved on from, but then you might do a story where that's all they focus on. And it's a little like, right. ouch. And then I'm like, well, you wrote it. What do you expect? But sometimes like for me, it was part of a whole, but sometimes people just like focus on that. So it's a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah. But there's also so much joy and so many highs and the, the songs and just to write about these amazing songs that you wrote and the band wrote must be a great feeling just to kind of claim all this again, that you were there, you did this, and this is stuff's going to be iconic forever. It must be a wonderful feeling of pride now to just to put that back out there and know that you're the one behind all this. It was like writing about my first show with the Go-Go's and what that felt like and making that first album in New York City. I mean, I was 22 years old and I'm in New York City, a girl from Austin, Texas, making an album with my best friends in the world. And we're on this honeymoon, practically. I've been in the band five or six months and it's just I love that those passages about that are so much fun to read yeah. it was so joyful and yeah. at one point when I was writing it I'm like oh my god that joy got on the record I'm sure of it it had to yeah. um so I did I really enjoy and I tried not to write until I was deep in it and knew what I was feeling so yeah, yeah I loved writing that stuff and I loved being able to just like you say, relive it and rejoice in it and not have it filtered with all the, you know, we've had our ups and downs as a band. Uh, we've broken up, we've gotten back together, we've 
we've had all kinds of stuff happen. So it was nice to, to really celebrate in my way, you know, which is mm -hmm. what our documentary does too. You know, the new right. documentary really celebrates the band. So. I'm yeah. Glad. What, what a year. I know this, this has been, a, you started off promoting that documentary at the start of the year at Sundance and this was going to be a big year and the documentary I'm sure still coming out and that's going to be a big deal for you and the band. What's, yes. what's the rest of this year hold for you in terms of what you're most excited about? What, the future of the band will be. You kind of leave things open-ended in an optimistic way at the end of the book. Kind of put into words what your hopes and dreams are for you personally and for the band moving forward. Well, I have to say, personally, I loved writing. Uh, I want to write another book. I really loved intersecting my musical uh, abilities and talents as a songwriter with the book. I, when I started, when I got the idea to do a soundtrack and how I could interweave the storytelling with music and not be beholden to any songwriting convention because it was a soundtrack i when i'm so interested in doing more of that maybe short stories with music that go along with them definitely another memoir in the works one day not right away some nonfiction things so that's personally i want to do a lot more yeah. writing a lot more music but for the band i don't know of our tour this summer we had a whole tour it has not been officially canceled but right you know i i, I would not be surprised if that was because i don't think concerts are going to be the first thing that come back sure. um, but i think the go-go's have just they've been like the gift that keeps giving and we just don't go away and the thing that's special now is that we have reached a level of healing and forgiveness and everybody feels really close to each other and rather than close to this one or close to that one or factions or this or that or just business as usual it really feels a lot like it did when i first joined the band which is kind of amazing so, how cool is that yeah. yeah yeah i don't know if we'll do an al album but maybe we'll do a song here and there and do some more shows and thank you for watching if you want more extra hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video